Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Mr. Prime Minister, Madam Mayor, Mr. Consort, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the British Legion Wolverhampton Central Branch, I welcome you all to this service of remembrance. On November the 7th, 1919, King George V made a statement to say, from that day on, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month will be recognized as Remembrance Sunday. The first Remembrance Sunday was held on that day, the 11th of November in 1919. We are here today to remember all those who did not come home. War is not a pretty thing. We are sent there to defend and to fight. Besides all our armed forces that can get killed or wounded, we must also remember the hundreds and thousands of men, women and children on both sides of the war who got killed during the bombing raids on their country. Also those who got killed as the war went into their homeland abroad. And so I am pleased to greet you all today and please take part in our service and when you go home, just remember where you've been and what you went for. Eternal God, on this day of remembrance, we gather in gratitude for all who have died that we may live, for all who endured pain that we might know joy, for all who suffered imprisonment that we might know freedom. Give us the same courage and determination to live and work for peace, for the sake of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of justice and of peace, whose strength is our protection and whose love our sure defense, be with those who, in this troubled world, maintain the security of our nation and protect the values we cherish. Keep safe those who serve in our armed forces and who risk their lives on land and sea and in the air. May the fruits of their courage and eternal vigilance be peace, prosperity and freedom from fear for all your peoples. This we ask through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, or the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for you tomorrow we gave our today. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we shall never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honor the past, may we put our faith in your future for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Dear God and Father, we thank you for the blessings of our country and for the freedoms which we enjoy. We pray for our Queen and her family and for those who govern in her name. Give them health and strength, wisdom and courage so that they may carry out their duties in the best interests of all your people. Let all who have power remember that they are your servants and that your son came to serve rather than to be served. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We praise you, Lord, that you came to this world to bring peace on earth. We pray that the leaders of the nations and people everywhere may turn to you so that war and terror, cruelty and hatred may end and peace and justice, kindness and love may reign. We ask this so that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. For your name's sake, amen. May God grant to the living grace to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all humanity, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. Amen. The first wreath will be laid by the Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Thomas Wesley. The Prime Minister, Mr. Boris Johnson. For the city of Wolverhampton, Her Worship the Mayor, Councillor Claire Dark, with her consort, Dr. Paul Dark. For R.F. Cosford, Squandalita Turner. For the Royal British Legion, Wolverhampton Central Branch, Mr. Neville Collins, Chairman for our Engineers. For Rafa, Roy Hollinshead.
If there are only any other persons who wish to lay a token or a wreath, please come forward now. Any member of the general public? I introduce to you the Mayor of the City of Wolverhampton, Councillor Clare Dark. Good morning. Peace is a fragile thing, and we need to work at it. Armistice Day commemorates the end of the hostilities between the Allies and Germany. It was on the, at the 11th hour, on the 11th of November, 1918, 101 years ago today. Today, we remember those who fought and those who died. That is the conclusion of our service And I thank each and every one of you that has come here today to give the veterans of this city your support. We do appreciate every time we see you standing there. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before you go, the associations of veterans in this city is always glad to welcome visit, uh, veterans we are growing shorter and shorter by each year, mainly because of our age. And we would love to, for younger veterans to come and join us. If anybody is interested, all they've got to do is come forward. Many thanks to you all.